From Mama Rose to Mama Mia, theater nerds like a lot of things, but there's something they love above all else, and that is correcting people. This is Um Actually. And joining us today, we have Grant O'Brien. I'm excited to be here. Siobhan Thompson. I just got my teeth cleaned and I'm ready to win. And Rachel Bloom. My back is weird, so I'll be sitting like a child. And this is our second themed episode. These will all be questions about musical theater. What wonderful contestants we have. <laughs> Thank you all for being here. Uh, Siobhan, you've done this before, but yeah. Grant and Rachel, you haven't done this. No. Um, uh, but the game is very simple. These are incorrect statements about the things you know and love. In this case, musical theater. Can I tell a story? <laughs> sure. There was a day when I was roasting you for uh, hosting a show for virgins, like this is. Sure. And uh, I said, listen, when I'm on them, actually, I'm going to come on there and really throw some elbows. Yeah. And, I'm, and you said, I'm going to stop you right there. You will never be on them, actually. That's true. I did say that, and, and here you are. I was wrong. We did change the show significantly for you to be on. Uh, <laughs> but here you are. <laughs> I, and let me say, Thank you. Oh, you're very. <laughs> I welcome. appreciate I, it. I, I, know I would not have been able to play otherwise. And to prove he's not a virgin, he came in fucking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did. I, I was, did. It was really yeah. bad. Like you... HR is down here right now behind these. They're cameras. waiting. Someone for was them. here and he just came in. <laughs> it's really nice of HR to wait until I'm done with the episode. Yes, yes. <laughs> that is that I appreciate. So yes, these are incorrect statements about <sighs> musical theater. I'm so excited! It's up to you to find the thing that's wrong and buzz in and correct me. Um, all your corrections must be preceded with the phrase "um actually." If you don't do that. I won't give you the point. And you can interrupt me whenever you want. Oh. Those are the only two rules. God, I'm so excited. And it's know, pretty simple. Is... Great. Uh, Musical theater is like other aspects of nerd culture in that people are like, um, actually, that is the uh, off-Broadway production. And when it went to Broadway, they changed the song slightly. And I don't think it's as good. Yeah. So, yeah, people get very anal retentive about. Yeah, when you don't have a lot of friends, <laughs> you have a lot of time to listen to Gypsy, mm -hmm. the original and all the revivals, <laughs> And I'm glad that I'm putting that to good use today. This is a show that will exist for like all the time you spend uh, p doing things like that. Thank you know? God. When yeah. I lived in New York, uh, before Siobhan or I had this job, uh -huh. Siobhan was my upstairs neighbor, mm -hmm. actually in my apartment building. And I remember one you night- You heard her tap dancing. <laughs> <laughs> well, Siobhan came down one night and we just sang through the score of Ragtime. Yeah. <laughs> just <laughs> just like in my apartment. At two in the morning, our neighbors must have been very happy. <laughs> sang all the black parts, uh -huh. really. <laughs> You can do it if you're on your own. <laughs> that is the nerdiest thing that's ever been said on this show. No. <laughs> the amount of white girls auditioning for musical theater colleges that have butchered your daddy's song. Oh, no. I mean, it's a beautiful song, but just yeah. you, there are so many other white you girl songs. You could fill purgatory <laughs> with <laughs> all of those girls. Sutton Foster has enough songs that you can sing. Yeah. You don't have to steal Audra McDonald. Yeah, now, that just, I almost started singing it, and I realized we, <laughs> we probably can't get the rights to, to anything. <laughs> If no, I, if you I can start do an off-brand parody. Oh yeah, I could make up Your a parody. Your father went do 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 on a piano. <laughs> okay, well we will jump in then with our first question. In the second act of the eleven-time Tony Award-winning musical Hamilton, many actors from Act One are double cast in entirely new roles. The actor playing John Lawrence becomes Philip Hamilton. Marquis de Lafayette becomes Thomas Jefferson. Hercules Mulligan becomes John Adams, and Peggy Schuyler becomes. Real Reynolds. Oh, f me. Oh, Siobhan. Um, actually, Hercules Mulligan becomes Madison. That's correct. Wow. Wow. Oh, you really got to pay I attention. It yeah. You got to pay public. attention. <laughs> previews at the public, baby. Wow, there okay. Extra songs when oh, I saw you, it. I guess you're extra cool. <laughs> John Adams, not even in the uh, not even in the production. James Madison. He was in the previews at the public. Hey, shut there's up. A, there's <laughs> all the rap. How does a dastardly? <laughs> 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 yeah, your your legally cleared version of Hamilton. Yeah. <laughs> just you just run through a thesaurus and replace every word with something that sounds like Hamilton, comma right. Alexander. <laughs> uh, well, I can't wait for uh, high school productions to um, uh, split up all those double cast roles to be able to fill the oh, yeah. entire. Yeah. yeah. Also, have them all be women because nobody is a boy who does musical theater in high school. Yeah, it's I, a very male production. I will have oh. you know, <laughs> I Gr played. Yeah. I played the dentist. I played <laughs> Miles Gloriosus. Of course you did. I played the Wiz. Yeah, of course you did. I mean, you the problem is you're, you're going to get, you're gonna get a lot of high schools where you're just going to have to quadruple cast the King George role. Yes, Because that's, cool. that's <laughs> all that those kids can play. <laughs> I was just telling someone about this. I was like, oh, I think it would be really funny if we just went to the UCB and we got every person who was like, 
like, so many schools do guys and dolls, and it's mm-hmm. just like, hey, are you a UCB performer who was in guys and dolls in high school? Uh, we are going to put it on right now. Everyone is going to play whatever role they played then, and we're just going to go from memory. That's just a have, great, have like, like 18 12 different Nathan Adelaide. Detroit's, 18 memory. Adelaide's. Just like, but, but like if you get enough people, it's like, oh yeah, you can kind of remember what's going <laughs> oh, on. Oh, that's here. so funny. I, I would... played Father Arvide Abernathy. <laughs> <laughs> I was Nathan Detroit. Our but Arvides with- were Arvidas. <laughs> 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 All right, that was a point for Siobhan. Great, Siobhan, great. I feel good. I feel confident. Well, Siobhan's played it's before. It's the British yeah, Invasion. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it may not have won the Tony for Best Musical, but original Broadway hit Grease was loaded with catchy songs. Summer Nights, Grease, and Hopelessly Devoted to You all became top 10 Billboard hits. And You're the One That I Want is one of the top 10 best-selling singles of all time. Rachel. Hopelessly Devoted to You is not in the Broadway, original Broadway production of Grease. Rachel, you did not say I'm actually. Fuck I'm, you! But I'm not, <laughs> no! I'm, I'm not going to say whether you're right or wrong. Uh, I am, but oh, I, I'm going to say you did not say I'm um, actually. I'm actually, so. <laughs> Hopelessly Devoted to You was not the original Broadway production of Grease. Um, that is correct. Fuck but, no! But, but there is also a more correct answer. Oh, um. So I'll give it to you unless, unless someone can co- come up with the more correct answer. Yeah, go um, for it. Actually, mm-hmm. Hopelessly Devoted to You and You're the One That I Want were not in the original Broadway direction. That's correct. Yes! There is also a more correct answer, but uh, I don't know how many, how, how um, long... Actually, that... none of those songs were in the original production of Grease, except for Summer Nights. That is correct. Wow. <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah, I, th- I thought you would cut it off there. Yes, every song that I just said, Summer Nights, Grease, Hopelessly Devoted to You. Oh, of course, except, Grease. Except for of course Nights, that wasn't We're the not in the Broadway musical. The song yeah. Grease the song Gre- sucks. It's bad. The song Grease is garbage. <laughs> but at least it's a really long credit scene. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we waddled our way through that one where everyone, everyone was sort of taking a little piece yeah, of it. Yeah, yeah, uh, I don't feel good about um, that. I feel like you deserve that one, but I'm going to have to give it to Siobhan. It's fine. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. I'll get it Back. But uh, oh, those autumn nights. <laughs> oh, bingo, oh, yes, so, bingo, yes, so, yes. <laughs> Winter uh, days. <laughs> but you also have to take the melody and reverse it. Da, 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 so you have to go, Winter days. Winter days. <laughs> it basically That's makes good. it basically it's when like, you actually start to do like a a, a note by note parody, it makes the most terrible songs. <laughs> no, There's a reason these songs are hits. The music shouldn't go this way. Yeah. No. All right. A good musical can transport its audience to new worlds. While many of them take place in familiar locales like New York City or Chicago, other musicals take place in imaginary fictional locations like the Land of Oz, River City, Iowa, Brigadoon, Camelot, and Urinetown. Siobhan. Um, actually, Brigadoon is not a place. Brigadoon is a place. Oh. Uh, um, Grant. actually, River City is not in Iowa. River City is in Iowa. <clears throat> uh, wow. Rachel. Um, actually, C- Camelot was theoretically real. It's based in history. Mm, that's not what we're going for. <gasps> Oh, 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 no! Actually, you're in town as a mythical place because it, it's it's a spoiler alert. It's a place where you go when you pee and you don't pay for it. Uh, Siobhan, yeah, so uh, we said it. God takes, damn it. It never, nothing ever takes place in your in no, town because. Wait. Oh, no, no. It is it. Hold on. Okay, all right, all I right. I have to disagree with this. Okay, please. Because the last lyric, and you can blur this, is sure. this is your in town. This always has been your in town. Mm. That's the oh. twist of your in town, is that sure, your in town's a fictional place. But because you're in town, they just toss you off a building. They were always in your in town. So mm. I will disagree with this question. <laughs> I'm gonna go to our. Ju- he's. That's accurate, but it's metaphorical. <laughs> <laughs> that whole damn we're musical talking is about a Brettian <laughs> musical about a place where people have to pay to pee. <laughs> and you're. I mean, all I'm saying is, if we're actually leaning into the thematic nature of you're in town, sure. it was you're in town. It always had been you're in town. We we are in you're in town, despite the fact that the we, we are. I'll fucking lose, but I'm not happy about it. <laughs> <laughs> This is poopy town. <laughs> no, you're we using the same melody. You can't do this that. This is poopy town. Yeah, great. Right. That's so positive. No, no, you have to go. <laughs> this so is poop, poop, poop city poop mm. essay. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, gosh, I, you're making a very good argument, but I, I feel like I would be giving in to you largely because I am uh, afraid rather than because I uh, truly agree with the argument. Um, so so nerd culture is just about being pedantic, huh? I see. What do you think you're doing? You're the most right. pedantic person <laughs> right. I know. That's interesting. You know, all most... Right. So Javon is all the points. She's taking our asses, right. but we're right. going to get it back. We're going right. to get it back. It's fine. All right, here we Don't go. Don't worry about it. All right, next question. 
Wicked takes place at Shiz University, headed by Madame Morrible, a witch with weather powers who creates the cyclone that kills the Wicked Witch of the East. Another faculty member is Dr. Dillamond, a goat man or satyr who teaches history and warns Elphaba that half animals like him are somehow being transformed into unintelligent regular animals. Grant. Um, actually, Dr. Delamond is a full-on goat, not a half-goat. That is correct. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you, you were what, half second behind. That's correct. He's just a goat, and he's not a, uh, just a just a regular goat. No, so you're feeling talks. good about yourself now? <laughs> you like this game now, Greg? I am yeah, into I this. Ooh, this is exciting. on the couch. This is exciting. <laughs> you're so proud of I'm yourself. I'm absolutely I'm enjoying myself. This yeah. is awful. I, I, I'm sorry. This is an I'm awful sorry. day of my life. Normally, we just like hang out and chat, and there's no, a very intense no, energy no, fuck, that's fuck, coming fuck this way. So like, I don't care. I just I can talk to I can talk to people at any time. <laughs> I've won. Fully time I can away. call. I can call this any of these people on the phone so... and we can talk. This is not <laughs> business. Come on. All right. Well, when I lived in New York. Jesus Christ. This is this is a great story. Uh, when I lived in New York, I lived for a little bit on Forty Third Street and Eleventh Avenue, uh, and so I'd get off the train and it's I'd in the river. I'd pass a you bunch lived of in the river. Uh, it, no, it's across the street from a UPS packaging facility. <laughs> Sundays get to the point. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great reference. And uh, uh, I would. So when I was a boy living off of 43rd and 11th. <laughs> My dad. A lot of crazy characters yeah, in my neighborhood. Played in a Yankee game. <laughs> I would. I'd pass all these Broadway theaters, and so I'd like as I walk by, I just enter the lottery, um, and I couldn't not win the Wicked lottery. I, I saw. I saw Wicked like six times, just because like fuck it. All right, sure, I'll I'll go. So there's some there's some sad little teenager who, who put in their came, name multiple times and just like uh, watched you walk. I Yeah, here. well, welcome to New York. <laughs> yeah, you got to eat right you alive if you're not careful. Uh, all right, well, we will move on to the next question. This is our very first shiny question. Uh, shiny questions, these are worth the same number of points. They're just formatted a little bit different, and they're a little less common. These are playbills of the original runs of Broadway musicals. It's up to you to identify which musical is which from the playbill. Cool, go ahead and flip these over. Let's take a look at these. Mm Oh, which one is this? <laughs> My brain is blanking on this. Who's this redheaded bitch? <laughs> oh, you know it. That's You're the name of the. That's the name it. of the show. Who's this, <laughs> this redheaded, redheaded bitch? bitch? I actually might have gotten that wrong, but I'm we'll really see. Hot. So, Grant, reveal your board. Sure. Show us. Uh, tell me what you got here, and I'll I'll tell you how many you got right here. So I have Dream Girls. I have Godspell. Okay. I have The Music Man. I wrote down Gypsy, but I think I'm wrong. Okay. I wrote Hello Dolly just cause that's not what that's not what that is. <laughs> okay. And I wrote Sweeney Todd, the Demon Barber of Fleet Street. Uh, all right, Siobhan, when you, you want to tell us what, what you got here? Okay, uh, I got Dream Girls. I got Godspell. I said Forty Second Street for this. Mm -hmm. uh, Mame. I said Follies for this, but I actually think it's Funny Girl, but it's too late now. Um, and then Sweeney Todd. All right, and Rachel. I have Dream Girls. Okay. Godspell, Guys and Dolls, La Caja Full, Mac and Mabel, Sweeney Todd, the Demon Barber of Fleet Street. Um, all right, I think that's gonna go to Rachel, but let's go ahead and show the answers up here. There we go. Showboat. Uh, that's the post. Showboat. That's showboat. That's a garbage post. That's, 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 that's fucking. That's fucking wild. That should be a fucking boat. Hey, look. This, <laughs> You're is, right. the, this is the first run. I, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, everyone got Dream Girls. Everyone got Sweeney Todd. Everyone got Godspell. Uh, Rachel, you identified guys and dolls. Uh, you also identified Lakasha Fo. So you have one, two, three, four, five correct. Whoa! That point goes to Rachel. That's and impressive. And there you go. I did it. <laughs> when I. <sighs> When I was a boy, <laughs> <laughs> I used to love going to Telsey because um, it's this is like cool, like warehousey type space, uh -huh. um, and you could actually go into audition. Uh, and then I'd go into the Actors Equity Building, and you don't have to bleep this legally because this is fucking true. Uh, before I was in the union, um, you could you were allowed to go to the auditions, but they wouldn't let you into the uh, room, so you had to sit on the floor outside and <laughs> and go across the street to the Marriott to use the bathroom. Uh, so I'd sit there, and you'd have to wait for a spot to open up. So I'd sit there for like seven, eight hours, peeing at a McDonald's or a Marriott, and not audition. Um, <laughs> and then I moved to LA, and I'm happier here. <laughs> I think this is a nice place. 
where we made a few mistakes in our previous episode. These are our favorite ones from you. Cha cha cha. At Ismobilia says, You were only half right about the origins of Dr. Doom's scarred face. While the exploding machine did scar his face, the worst of the damage came from him putting on his iconic mask before it had properly cooled. I guess Dr. Doom is a hipster because he liked his mask before it was cool. At Joseph Franka V2 says, I'm um, actually canonically Ash is currently 11 as of the Sun and Moon series. In order to take on the Alola League, all trainers must be at least 11 years old. Crazy that they have an age restriction and that it's only 11. One point for you. At CompuSci, Dave says Tangan Topagur and Logan is not a robot. None of the other examples have pilots and are therefore robots. Tangan Topagur and Logan has multiple, making him a mech or mecha. This is extremely nitpicky, which is just the thing we like. One point for you, CompuSci, Dave. All right, well, we'll move on to our next question. Um, uh, here we go. Based on the autobiographical graphic novel by Alison Bechdel, yes, the same one for the Bechdel test, Fun Home won the Tony for Best Musical, and Janine Tesori and Lisa Cron were the first female writing team to win the Tony for Best Original Score. Sydney Lucas, who played the younger of the two versions of Alison we meet in the show, also became the youngest recipient ever of an Obie Award for her performance. Um, actually, oh, I'm gonna say that they didn't win for score. Uh, no, no. Um, actually, uh, she plays the older version of Sydney. Uh, no. The oh, show. Um, actually, there are three versions of Alison Bechdel in Fun Home. That's correct. Oh! <laughs> oh! Uh, oh my God, that's, that's amazing! Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was hidden so around sneaky. awards and shit. It's wow. just a little, a little thing. Um, we got there. Uh, yes, point point for Siobhan. There are three versions of Allison in the show. Wow. The adult narrator, small, 10-year-old Allison, and medium college-aged Allison. Um, medium Allison. Medium <laughs> Allison. <laughs> I, don't th I don't know that that's how no. the credit was listed. Over easy, Matt. Over, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a rare Allison. <laughs> All right, our next question here is about Book of Mormon. Mm. Mm. In spooky Mormon hell dream, Elder Price's guilt over abandoning Elder Cunningham manifests as a vivid nightmare about what awaits him in hell. Waiting to terrorize him for eternity are Satan, Hitler, an array of skeletons, Jeffrey Dahmer, Saddam Hussein, Johnny Cochran, Genghis Khan, a giant Starbucks cup, and Jesus, who calls him a dick. Rachel. Saddam Hussein is not in Sporky, Spooky Mormon. Um, actually. Thank you, thank God. Saddam Hussein <laughs> is not in Spooky Mormon Hell Dream. That is correct. Uh, Saddam Hussein, though he appears in uh, South Park, Bigger, Longer, Uncut, other, other Matt Stone, Trey Parker musical jams, He's not in hell in Spooky Mormon Hell Dream. That point goes to Rachel. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm so glad you said um actually because I was like I cannot take this away from you for, not, for, yeah. for a technicality. I would have thrown hot coffee in your face. <laughs> and, and you like she willingly didn't have any hot coffee. She would have had to go yeah, and make some hot coffee some, and willingly gone to jail. Yep, that, <laughs> that'd I, be the most like on brand felony for me. Uh, <laughs> Injured someone in a musical theater trivia. <laughs> hey, you know your mom has dealt with your shit for years, so why not get her a gift that'll deal with hers? That's right, get her a brand new bidet from Hello Tushy. Bring your mama into the future with the Hello Tushy 3.0 Modern Bidet Attachment. It's stylish, it's eco-friendly, it's easy to install, and it'll help her stop flushing her retirement down the toilet in toilet paper costs. Don't let Big TP take your mother's retirement. Hello Tushy 3.0 cleans butts like a champ, but it doesn't stop there. It also cleans itself. It's got a smart spray nozzle, cleans everything so you don't have to worry about all that shit. It's so easy to install, even your parents can do it. Yes, I know, even your parents. There's no electricity, there's no extra plumbing, there's no last minute FaceTime tech support calls where they're asking you lots of questions but they're not really listening to anything you're saying. Don't worry about that, okay? And it'll cut toilet paper usage by 80%, so this thing will pay for itself in a matter of months. Plus, every Hello Tushy bidet attachment comes with a 60-day risk-free guarantee and a 12-month warranty. So get shitting, people! Give the gift everyone wants. Give the gift of a clean butt. Go to hellotushy.com slash actually, and you'll get 10% off your order plus free shipping. This is a special offer just for our viewers. That's hellotushy.com slash actually, and you'll get 10% off. 10% off with free shipping at hellotushy.com slash actually. Now, let's get on with this shit. Here we go. Next question. Beginning its Broadway run at the Public Theater, a chorus line became at one point... I'm um, actually... 
The public theater is not a Broadway theater. That's correct, Siobhan. Yes, yes, Smart. yes. I had 80 more words I'm to sorry. say. I'm uh, sorry. But yeah, you, you caught say us. Say the questions. Uh, no, no, it's, uh, I'm, I'm glad you caught it that quickly. I was hoping we would trip people up and all the words that came after, but you're right. Uh, the public theater, while legendary, is an off-Broadway venue. That's not a Broadway venue. Um, now you'll never know what I was going to say oh, about yeah. a chorus line. Uh, we're going to go to our second shiny question Ooh. of the game. Uh, uh, and this is a little game that we're calling Once More Without Feeling. I am going to read the lyrics with as little rhythm, melody, or affect as I can. It's up to you to buzz in and identify the show that these songs are from. All right, well, we'll, we'll uh, jump into this. Uh, there'll be uh, six different songs here. Whoever can get the most will get the one point. Great. Oh, okay. Thing. Cool. <clears throat> Hold on, hun. We're gonna bunny hug. I bought, yes. Chicago. Uh, that's correct. Uh, Grant, fast on that buzzer. Uh, here's the next one. Oh no, oh no. If his eyes get dull and fishy when you look for glints and gleams. Rachel. Uh, South Pacific. That is correct. Oh. Okay, here's our next one. Now, the gods grew quite scared of our strength and, yes, Grant. Hedwig in the Angry Inch. That's correct. Mm. All right, here's our next one. Oh, that noble feeling. Feels grand, Jesus How Christ. to succeed in business without really trying. Wow. That's correct. Oh, <laughs> on. Jesus Christ. All right, here's our next one. <clears throat> Food beyond compare. Yes, Rachel. Oliver. No, you fell into our trap. Fuck <laughs> you. <laughs> Food beyond compare. Food beyond belief. Oh, 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 uh, oh. Mix it in a mincer. Uh. And uh, Rachel. Sweeney Todd? That's Sweeney Todd. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Food beyond compare. That's my miserable. Sorry, sorry. Sorry. Yes, 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 yes. You're right. Sorry. God, I. I... Wait. Oh. Food oh, beyond right. compare. Oh, oh. Food Maybe. beyond belief. Oh. Yes. Uh, so he just got that. Oh, I was gonna. Oh, down. trap. Yes. There was a flash of something. If yeah. you roll it back, you'll see <laughs> a real see. flash. Oh, no, no, no. Of... Okay. Well, Grant, I think that all got... worked out in the end. At yeah. last, we yeah. found him, the musical theater murderer. Does he have a lot? <laughs> you missed one keep, musical keep, and he killed us. Give us a MO. fighting. He probably has too many for anyone else to win, but let me see Let's if we see. can give it a we fighting got, chance. We've only got one more left, oh, so we'll do this one. All right. Look. I didn't want to have to tell you, but I may be coming down with hepatitis. And I think I'm going to... Company. Rachel, that's company. Oh, that's company. Man, that's funny. <laughs> Look. Look. Will you do more? Will you do more Grant, just for Grant's me? These are so right? fun to do. <laughs> it's so silly to say these. It's just like... Hey, listen, come on, hon. We're gonna, we're gonna bunny hug. <laughs> <laughs> Look is such a funny way to start that sentence. Look, like, uh, uh, well, so good. that it's is uh, two for Rachel, four for Grant. Uh, so that point goes to Mr. Grant O'Brien. <laughs> <laughs> you all said I'd never be on the show, and now I'm on the show. You well, didn't want to be on the show. You uh, had no, 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 lots no, of contempt for, for this show. I'm not interested, but this is great. <laughs> Well, it's intermission time here, so why don't you stretch your legs and get a big old sippy cup of wine. And while you're at it, tell us the things that we got wrong. You can correct us by tweeting at um Actually Show or by going to the exclusive Dropout Discord and telling us what we got wrong there. If we like it, we might feature it on the show. Well, what is our scoreline looking at right now? 2-5-2. Two, two. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, she's kicking her ass. Uh, all right, here's our next question. Okay. Legendary performer Tim Curry created the role of Dr. Frank N. Furter, the sexually deviant mad scientist from the planet of Transylvania in the original 1973 London production of the Rocky Horror Picture Show, before reprising his role on screen in the 1975 cult classic film. Um, actually, the film came first? Incorrect. Well. Siobhan. Um, actually, it originated in Bristol? Incorrect. Um, yes. actually, Transylvania isn't a planet. That's correct. Can you be more specific? Um, actually, Transylvania is a country, not a planet. Uh, Wait, I have a second um, actually. Oh, lyric? go ahead. The play is not called The Rocky Horror Picture Show. Ooh. The play is called The Rocky Horror Show. Ooh. Uh, Ooh. Uh, we're going to have our factor checker looking at that, because that would make sense for it to be that. Transvestite from... Transsexual Transylvania. Yeah. From trans... Yeah. Oh. Wow. Yep. 
Uh, okay, that's not what we're going for, uh, but I'll give it to you. Grant, what were you about to say? Um, actually, he's from Transsexual Transylvania. He is from Transsexual Transylvania. What we were aiming for here is, uh, we said he was from the planet of Transylvania. He's from the planet Transsexual that's... in the galaxy of Transylvania. <laughs> sure. Uh, right. sure. <laughs> perfect. Which perfect. is, uh, yeah, extremely nitpicky. Uh, uh, you found something else in here. <laughs> uh, but, uh, so we'll give you a point for that. Um, very, uh, convenient that uh, Transylvania happens to be a region on Earth, and also uh, a galaxy. A galaxy. Um, they don't come up with the names. I mean, that's just, yeah, what, just, that's what, just what it's called. That's what it's called. Um, Science. Science. The, no, this isn't a good story. That hasn't stopped you before. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, well, this is, uh, the first blowjob I ever gave was at, right. uh, was at a, a, a screening of the Rocky uh, Horror Picture Show. Dig in. That's actually, that's actually... That's better than a lot of my stories. <laughs> that's actually better, better the best story I've heard yeah, so far. Yeah. Rather than you yeah. almost auditioning for something, <laughs> that's actually something that you actually did, actually did. involving musical yeah. theater. Yeah, I like that story. All right, well, here's a question about rent. Mm. Oh, gross. You should pay it. <laughs> Rent has five different songs titled voicemail number one through five, each portraying one of five different voicemail messages. Four of these voicemails are performed by the parents of a lead character, but there is also a voicemail left by Alexi Darling, a celebrity name-dropping producer of a sleazy news show called Buzzline. Uh, Grant. Um, actually, her name is Lexi Darling? No. Um, actually, one of the voicemails is left by two parents. Uh, no, it's not what we're going for. Okay. Yeah. Um, actually, there are six voicemails. Uh, you're uh, you're wrong, but you're close. Uh, I'm I, I, I might give it to you unless you can be. Um, actually, there are three voicemails. Uh, no. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you are less correct than than, than, than uh, Rachel was. You found the thing that's wrong at least, so I, I'm I'm gonna I'm inclined to give it to you unless someone can, can yeah, tell cl me. Clearly, neither but of us have this think, specific. Yeah. So. While there are five songs titled voicemail, oh. number one through five, there are actually nine total voicemails wow. left. Because what a good in show. two of the voicemail uh, numbers, multiple voicemails are oh, left right, it's by Mimi's different mom. characters. Mimi's right. Mimi's right. Right. Don't let us talk. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, this will bring us God. to our last shiny question of the game. Okay. So this is a game we're going to call uh, We'll Just Have to Adapt. So on the other side of this, there's going to be a series of properties. All of these have been adapted into musicals except for one. Ooh. The first... Uh, so Broadway musicals. Broadway musicals, specifically, uh, yes. Okay, uh, So all these have been adapted into Broadway musicals. The first person who can identify the one that has not been adapted into a Broadway musical will get the point. Uh, and when I say so, you can flip. Everyone ready? Mm -hmm. And flip. Uh, Siobhan. Uh, Sweet Home Alabama has not been adapted. That is correct. Wow. <laughs> Uh, sneaking in there just a half second before everyone else. Well, Grant had his buzzer uh, way, 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 over, way over there. But yes, <laughs> I wasn't gonna yeah. get there. Uh, Sweet Home Alabama has not been adapted into a Broadway musical. All the rest of these have. Yep. I saw Catch Me If You Can, and it was great. Groundhog Day is also fantastic. Groundhog Day is I've really good. It really, really good. is good, and it made me cry a lot. Like an embarrassing, snotty amount. This brings us to our last question, Great. which, as always on this show, concerns real-life skills. So it has nothing to do with the things that you've been uh, obsessing about in your lives. These are just things that might be valuable for you to know in the world. General, general facts. You may know all the roles in the Broadway show you just watched, but what about the roles in the U.S. government? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh no. Oh. <laughs> the cabinet's role is to advise the president on subjects related to each member's area of expertise. Established in Article II of the Constitution, this group includes positions such as the Secretary of Energy, the Trade Representative, the Secretary of Communications, the Secretary of Health and Human Services, and the Secretary of the Interior. Grant. Um, actually, the trade representative is not a cabinet-level position. Incorrect. Mm. Okay. Shabon. Um, actually, the secretary of communications is not a cabinet-level... That is correct. There is no secretary of communications, ah. uh, unlike in other countries where there is one. You just uh, have Sarah Huckabee Sanders. Yeah, basically. Yeah, you have the press secretary. Um, uh, but that's not a, a cabinet-level position. Uh, all the other ones are. And the uh, secretary of the interior uh, has a much different role from, like, the ministry of the interior in other countries, which is more of a sort of like uh, home and defense kind of thing. Uh, Secretary of the Interior is largely related to land use and things like that. 
Now, the trade representative feels like, to me, it should come under the Department of Commerce. Well, it does sound fake. It does sound fake. That was why I, I was auditioned guess once it. to be the trade secretary. <laughs> <laughs> and they made, me, they made me shit in the Marriott. <laughs> right. um, Did you get it? No, I had to wait outside with my oxen. God. That's terrible. That's, that's really bad. That's you know, really something. Really, there's got to be a better system you got to wait outside, it's that. really bad for your voice. Uh, Will, what is our final score looking like? 3-8-3. Three, yeah, three. she killed us. Yowzer, yowzer. Is there well, any chance to make up those points? There's no sort of tiebreaker to get six points at once. There's no sort of tiebreaker. Um, I, I don't know. We could look up some more, uh, she just, she we just look up won. some more show she tunes, just and, up, and she I just can. Straight up one. Look, yeah. I don't feel great about it. Yeah, uh, I feel good about it. Do I feel should, great about it? You should it? feel great about it. You really right. wiped the floor with us. That was right. well, well. What I'll say is, you're the one who's played the game, and we haven't. That is, that is true. true. Yeah. Yeah. You knew what to listen for. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I would just say like you played to the test. Like you've yeah. you've done yes. the test before. You've had your PSAT. Like she knows her shit, but like also she knows how to play. The yeah. Test. My my dad got me a uh, tutor, yes. and they said that I was on the rowing team so yes. that yeah. I could do this musical theater. Siobhan course. did actually pay us several thousand dollars for. Um, actually, it's called Crew. It's not the rowing team, it's, it, it's the crew team. There's nothing I love more than, than <laughs> you saying something and being mad with so many silence. <laughs> Thank you so much, uh, everyone, for, for playing with us. Thank you for watching. Join us next time for even more pedantic corrections here on Um Actually. Um Actually.